Number one, constantly compare yourself to other artists. This way you feel like shit every single time you go on social media when someone with twice the experience you have posts something immensely better than the drawing you spent days on. Number two, talk to your family about what you do and expect them to cheer you on. Their negative and ignorant comments over holiday dinners will surely provide you the constructive criticism you need to further your career as an artist. They'll tell you it's stupid, ask you what it's like doing nothing with your life, and ask you to draw them things for free because they're family. This one is guaranteed to make you an artist. Number three, base the success of your entire career on one project. Remember that time you made a sculpture and the whole thing was ruined in the kiln before you could even glaze it? You can no longer be an artist. Artists are perfect and never, ever make mistakes, especially ones that weren't even your fault. Cast all your dreams away because you are nothing. Number four, stick with what you know. As an artist, it's illegal for you to ever want to explore new mediums and further yourself. <laughs> Painters must be painters, illustrators must be illustrators, and ceramic artists must always work in clay. By trying new things out, you increase the likelihood of finding out your other talents and becoming better through trial and error. And that's a bad thing. Never do that. Number five, undervalue your expertise. No matter how much you think you know about painting, sculpting, or drawing, despite having done it for years, someone will always know more than you and you should feel bad for not being born first. Undermining yourself and what you know is the easiest way to be an artist, as all artists are tortured and must hurt for their art. Number six, let money dictate what you do. I don't care how good that painting looks. If you aren't making one billion dollars on that painting, then it is worthless and you should feel ashamed for making it. All that matters is how much money you make, according to your relatives and anyone who thinks art is stupid. By not making as much as a doctor or lawyer, your work is undervalued immediately and is about as useful as sandpaper for toilet paper. Number seven, bow to societal pressures. Is that a nipple on a woman? Nipples are so disgusting, even though everyone has them and are not reproductive organs that can be sexualized. Put this black bar over them now so I don't have to see that disgusting filth. <sighs> the nerve of some people, Jesus. Number eight, only do work that your family will love. Family not really getting the point of your drawing or sculptures that you make? Are they constantly nagging you to draw them or other relatives because it would be a nice gift? Well. You've listened to them your entire life, why stop now? Abandon all original ideas and creativity and make things that are kid-friendly, not thought-provoking, and otherwise dull and overused so that your family can be happy. Because they're the only ones that matter and your thoughts and feelings are nothing. Number nine, do whatever the client, customer, gallery owner, patron, or investor asks of you. You know that saying the customer is always right? That totally applies to art. When someone comes to you with an idea for something and wants it done in a super specific, time-consuming way that you don't have a chance in hell at completing with your deadline constraint, always do it the way they ask you to. Because coming up with a better, easier design or concept simply won't do when you're dealing with the public who barely has any idea of how stupid their concepts sound sometimes. And finally, number 10, set unachievable, overwhelming goals to be accomplished by tomorrow. Being an artist means you have to complete a lot of work in a short amount of time because art is hard, right? To truly be an artist, you must have a store, enough products to sell in the store, as well as an account for target goals, budgeting, and supplies, all while disregarding how much time you really have. Toss time out the window and get to work because you need all of this done by tomorrow morning. And if you can't do that, then you might as well be employed by McDonald's where $7.50 an hour is an acceptable living wage, according to most Republicans. Oh.